Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Feel free to become members if you so desire. Die-hard evolutionists and all Earth creationists um, are starting uh, to use the the quote-unquote Vav's argument against a global flood. But what I want to do to set the scene for this, I'm going to share some images. Some of them you'll um, recognize so that we can dispel this Vav's issue. Okay, can you see that first image? Uh, yep. That's Mount St. Helens. Uh, so people, you'll notice that that thick layer of Vav's Barbs is just um, small sedimentation layers uh, that occurred in three hours. You can see more detail and you can see the um, scale. I think right at the bottom left hand corner of that great picture, there's a, a man there for scale. So it's a, it's a thick layer of uh, valves and you can see a close up of it just there. Now this one's at the lake See Gitsu in Japan, you'll notice there are two cores there and specifically you'll notice the, la the count of the valves between the ash layers is different. And John, you'll, you'll recognize this one because this is uh, from your demonstration or presentation you did last Saturday morning. Yeah, some of the research we did in Iceland on climate. Yeah, yeah well, you know, le leaves don't last very long e at the bottom of the lake. I I'm, a, I'm a scuba diver and I've been scuba diving in, in some of these uh, waters and that leaf would break break down into thousands of smaller pieces. And I know when, when you're moving through the water, you, dis you disturb that stuff and it becomes very dark and uh, you, you lose uh, orientation. But... Uh, Here's, here's another one that sort of dispels that. Uh, I think uh, Joseph Hubbard put me onto this. Any dead creature in water, there's a bacteria known as, uh, help me out, Saprolegnia <laughs> and Phytophora. <laughs> yeah, what happens there is that bacteria will eat away these dead things in less than a year. So how can they be fossilized if those valve layers are actually you know, uh, y yearly counts. Y you can't. The, 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 the creature will be completely uh, eaten away by that bacteria. So you can take the floor now, John, and uh, add your comments to what I've just described. Okay, well, uh, I just happen to have a, a rock full of barbs here. Now I'll hold it up. Can you see the lines along this edge? Yes, On yeah. The, top, the rock has started to peel apart along the barbs. Uh, on this side, where we cut it, it hasn't, so you can actually see, can you see the valves there, the black and white yep. layer? Yep. Now, this is a beautifully preserved leaf on the surface, and it's the same problem that you created. If you're scuba diving, you scoop it up. But from this layer itself, I've not only got leaves, I've got shells. I even one year got a big blob of crocodile poo and crocodile vomit, right? Now, I don't know uh. about but when an animal vomits, it tends to disperse <laughs> through the whole of the, the water environment. So either you're burying the crocodile so fast, you're pushing its guts out, and that's what's given rise to some of our fish, and even that gets buried in valves. So the one thing you know is the crocodile wasn't vomiting there for 18 months, right? To get <laughs> yeah. Right? It just doesn't work like that. So the presence of valves tells you that the normal habit in geology is to stretch time not to deal with process now some of you have been to our creationresearch.net website go and have a look at our strata machine and have a look at the results we produce in 20 minutes sometimes only in five minutes the water itself produces the layers they're already in the actual water it was a real shock to me when i got the results from our strata machine and i contacted a water engineer and I said, well, where, is, where are the layers coming from? And he said, everybody who's a water engineer knows the water's already got the layers in. It's bringing the material already sorted. It's not coming in and laying one on top of the other like the long-term evolutionists, millions of years, and sadly, the local flood person who cows towers to the god of science and evolutionism actually wants. The real mechanism of producing layers, you can see, 
both in the rivers, in the floods, and you can do the experiment. Go to creationresearch.net, have a look at our strata machine experiment. I think there's 11 experiments there where you can watch them actually growing sideways, not one on top of the other. So, George, we're being conned again. A very few people even get the chance to do the experiments. I'm grateful to the Lord. He's not only given us the money, but given us the time. Read the results. They'll be a real blessing to you. And whatever the Bible says, first rule, if it doesn't look as if it's meant to be anything but literal, take it literal. Is, is the Green River formation a problem for young Earth? Uh, because a, lo a lot of, as I said, a lot of um, old Earth creationists and evolutionists are, are beginning to use the Green River formation as an issue for young Earth. Well, it's no issue. It's just that the quarry charges too much to let you in to dig up the rocks. Um, <laughs> but in reality, you, you, I, I've used it for years. There's a special layer there, the 18-inch or the half-metre layer, which has got up to 40,000 baths in it. And I've got huge number of pieces. In fact, since you brought up the Green River formation, I'll show you something very interesting. Can you all spot that fossil? That's our famous yep. eye pine. But you see where my finger is up there? There's yep. a little fish. Okay, now that fish, this is an Australian rock. Um, the place is off limits now, so you've either got to get it from old collectors or old collections. Um, I qualify as both, by the way. <laughs> You'll find <laughs> that we have fossil fishes there which are the same as in the Green River Formation. Now, what you'll find is there's no such thing as an indigenous sort of fish. There's no such thing as the evolution unless you count changing the names in a book as evolution. We have Green River fishes here. They have our Australian herrings in, in uh, the Green River Formation over there, both of which were buried very quickly. And some of the ones I have cover multiple valves, right? You don't get the valves up, rising up and over. They're actually embedded in the valves. So the valves were there very, very quickly. And this 18-inch layer, if you wanted to say each valve represents six months, you know, dark light, dark light, then it took you tens of thousands of years for some of the big fishes to get buried. And when you get that ridiculous, it's time you took up pottery. Yeah, correct. As I mentioned, that bacteria would have uh, eaten the fish away a long time before it would have got a chance to be buried. Yeah, that's true. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit that like button. It really does help. And subscribe if you enjoy the content and want to see more. And find more of us on our main channel on Team Standing for Truth. This is Matt Man. Until next time.